This was really one of those setups that you would expect to see in the planes. And from a weather standpoint, it was called a triple point where all the lift, all the wind shear, the instability that fuels storms was kind of maxed out over the Carolinas. And this unfortunately resulted in that deadly tornado outbreak that we saw on this day 14 years ago. This is a map that was reconstructed from the North Carolina State Climate Office, and it shows the 5EF3, 8EF2, 9EF1, and 8EF0 tornadoes that moved through North Carolina on that day. On average, we see about 30 tornadoes per year, and we got that in just one day. In fact, the damage that was done in Sanford, Raleigh, Fayetteville, and Smithfield, it accounted for 88% of the damage that was done on April the 16th, 2011. And in fact, the tornado that went through Sanford, Holly Springs, and Raleigh, it also went from Carthage to Wake Forest. It was 65 miles long, which makes for the third longest tornado on record in the state of North Carolina. So that's the meteorological side of it, but a lot of us have very uh, profound memories of that storm, whether it was the folks that were covering it or the folks that went through it. We have those memories right now on WRAL.com. Just search Ask the Meteorologist.